Hello everybody and welcome to the vloggy thing. Before we begin, let's do a little bit of news. And the news is that Space Engineers is up on the daily sale for this Steam Summer Sale. It is $13.39, that's 33% off. Uh, now it's not, doesn't seem like a lot, uh, but uh, I mean it was a $20 game to begin with, so 33% off is not going to be a lot. Um, but if you missed your chance to get it on the flash sale a couple of days back, now you have 48 hours to pick it up. Uh, well, 48 hours from when the sale started, which was about 1 o'clock my time, and it's about 1.30 right now. So God only knows when this thing is actually going live, whatever it gets uploaded and processed and all that fun crap and blah, 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 blah. News number two. Um, I was going to start swearing at the red team because, yeah, holy shit. But, uh, I mean, this is what Valve wanted, apparently. Uh, they got pissed off because Reddit was uh, cheating, I guess you could call it. Uh, basically, what Reddit was trying to do was trying to get every team to have uh, one or two days total that they won. Um, the idea was that there are five teams, there are ten days, and, you know, one team would win two days. You know, so, and that kind of thing. But apparently Val Valve got pissed off at it and put a kibosh on that. And now the red team is just landsliding everything. Um, and I'm mildly pissed off about it because I agree with Reddit. I agree that everybody should have their chance to win. Um, because, I mean, what are, you, what are you really winning? You're winning a, a card, or a couple cards, I should say. A couple of digital cards cards that aren't used for anything except for tacking on experience points in steam and it's kind of well pointless there's no real value to it whatsoever but uh so yeah i mean i don't understand why people are so obsessed with it you do get a, a chance to win three games 30 people of the winning team will get three games on their wish list for free and that's cool. I like that idea. But uh, right now, and as I said, it's 1.30. So this has been going on for a grand spanking total of half an hour. Not even half an hour. It's like 1.24 right now. Uh, ooh, something interesting is finally happening. Now we're talking. That is a fight. Okay. Um, red team's losing. Yee, I like this. See, now this is a fight. Uh, everybody's got uh, just around 30,000 points, um, which is better than it was yesterday. Yesterday was bad. Uh, it was like half an hour in. It was, uh, oh, now the red team's winning again. Yes, I'm watching this live. It's like the horse races. It just takes 24 hours instead of 24 seconds. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, at the very beginning, it was like everybody had like 60,000 points. The red team had like 150,000 points. It was ridiculous, and it was quite annoying. Uh, for like three days in a row, the red team won, and it was stupid. Uh, I'm glad there's actually some competition going on. I actually like the competition. <clears throat> I'll be okay with the red team wins, but if it's a complete landslide, like they won by 400,000 points, which I believe they won yesterday with, that's just annoying, and that suggests cheating. Um, all right, anyway, so let's... Stop there. Uh, this is what I want to see, but apparently what happened the last three days is what Valve wants to see, uh, because that's what Reddit was fighting against, was basically people just going on and spending assloads of money, more, you know, people with more money than brains just going on spending an assload of money for these cards, and just flooding, you know, winning by a landslide. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, I'm watching everything bounce back and forth. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, this is what I want to see. I'm happy with that. Um... And the blue team needs to get off their butts. Mm. For the record, just for full disclosure, I'm, I'm actually a member of the red team, and I have not contributed points uh, the past three days. I contributed on the second day of the Steam Summer Sale because I thought it was an actual thing. I didn't, re I didn't know Reddit was cheating. But yeah. Anyway, so let's, let's actually keep going. Let's get on to the point of this. And the point is a mild case of depression that I got yesterday. Okay, I, I'm trying not to show it. I'm trying to be enthusiastic and all that fun stuff because depressed video is kind of boring. And I, yeah, I, that's one of the things that I'm actually kind of depressed about. Um, <clears throat> I'll explain. 
So I was poking around yesterday online looking for information on how to get, how to trap a demon and get a demon heart for my quest for creative series. And uh, so I poked, I, I, I poked at it online, uh, you know, read through the wiki entirely. And the only information I'm getting is that uh, you can kill the demons to get the demon hearts or you can trap them and trade with them but it doesn't indicate anywhere how to trap them so i was trying to figure all that out um so i first thing i did is poke on google not find any useful information then i'm like well why don't i just go watch a youtube video i tend not to like watching tutorial videos which is a little silly because i make tutorial videos <clears throat> but i prefer reading my information. I don't know why. I'm weird that way. Uh, I'm old school, I guess. I don't know. But uh, so I'm like, okay, well, uh, I'll go to YouTube. I'll watch a couple of videos and see if I can get the information from there. So I went to YouTube and I typed in these specific words. Witchery, mod, demon. Those three words. <clears throat> and the first like 20 uh, results were all attack of the B team. So oddly specific. But every single one of the videos said in the title, first thing, attack of the B team. And every single one of those videos were from different people. Okay. Now I admit, I don't know all of the people on the attack of the B team server, but I really doubt that all those people are actually on the attack of the B team server, considering what two people are dealing with witchery at all, uh, chimney sweep and generics poking at it and that's about it as far as i know of anyways um i don't actually watch all of them but you know so i'm sitting there i'm looking through and i realize that these people are most definitely not on the attack of the b team server so why are their videos labeled attack of the b team you know it's attack of the b team episode you know whatever and then the title so it's it's misleading it's intentionally misleading and it's very annoying it's bullshit basically and it's kind of annoying because i'll sit i'll hover over their names and i can see their subscribers and it's like you know a thousand subscribers six thousand subscribers ten thousand subscribers three hundred thousand subscribers and then the first guy is like one million subscribers oh that's chimney sweep okay that's fine as long as i mean number one is chimney swift so that's fine <clears throat> he's actually on the attack of the b team server so so I watched his video, didn't get the information I needed because it was just part of its Let's Play and it wasn't giving me the information I needed. There are apparently no tutorials for this kind of thing, which gives me a target to aim for. Since there aren't specific tutorials for these things, well, there we go. Um, anyways, so I started thinking about all of the things that people do to get subscribers. I have, on last count, 650 subscribers. I get on average about 20 views to my videos. Um, and it, it, that is actually horribly down from what it was before. I don't know what happened a couple weeks ago, but as I was really getting into it, I keep hitting the mic because I have to keep it too damn close. I'm looking into getting soundboard for the room so I could be able to set the microphone on my desk, turn up the gain so it can be heard, but you don't get all the echo and all the annoying sounds. I'm, I'm working on it. Um, anyway, so, uh, uh, yeah, I have 650 subscribers. I had on average 40 plus views a video and it was slowly going up. As long as I was actually putting out the videos, it was slowly going up. And then all of a sudden, bam, I was getting like eight views. Seriously. Um, and it's very slowly creeping up. I got it back to about 20 and it's kind of holding still on that, but, I get a lot of noise in my views, so it's hard to tell when it's these small in numbers. I don't know what the hell happened. All I know is that I was doing okay. I was getting there. I was getting there. I was getting there. I was getting view. I was getting videos with 60 views, and I'm like, yes, I'm improving. I'm getting better. I'm actually putting forth the good content, and then just boom, lightning struck the transmitter or something. I don't know. And uh, so I'm thinking of all of these things that I've learned about how people get more views and more subscribers. And 90% of the tricks that people use are spam, scammy and annoying as hell. And I've mentioned this before, but I feel like I need to just lay this all out, 
not concisely, not clearly, because this is a vloggy thing. I don't actually have a script. But, and, I mean, so I looked it up, and here are a few of the tricks that I got. Uh, one, make your title interesting. Okay, I'm not doing very good at that, I admit, but mm, uh, I'm trying. Uh, two, put description, uh, description in the details. Uh, make it clear, make it as detailed as possible. Okay, I'm working on that. I'm doing that. I'm trying anyways. Uh, tag the hell out of your videos. Okay, I could do that too. That's not bad. Um, then it gets into the other things that I have a problem with. Uh, what you do, the trick is, you send a private message to other people who are YouTubers saying, you know, watch my videos or stuff, shit like that. Um, and then you get the views. Or you send contact requests. You know, this person added you to their contact, do you want to return? Uh, or you send them the videos and crap like that. And it's really fucking annoying because it's spam. That's all, that's all that that is. That's all spam. And it's disgusting. And every time I see it in my inbox, I mark it as spam. I delete it. That's the only time. I, that's the only time I give it out of my days. Mark it as spam. Delete. Because that's exactly what I do in my mailbox, in my email. That's exactly what I do. I'm like, this is junk. Spam. Delete. Done. I don't have to deal with that. If I don't know you, or your videos or your comments aren't relevant relevant to what I'm doing or to my videos, spam. It's spam. It's obviously spam. I mean, that's the definition of the word. <sighs> then there are people that go on and actually go into the comment sections of videos and say, hey, I sub to you, sub to me, or hey, watch my videos, or something like that. Completely unrelated to the video. I mean, yes, okay, I admit I've gone into a few and said, hey, you know, I've got a video, blah, blah, blah. But it's always relevant. It's, hey, I have this video that shows you how to do this thing that would be incredibly useful for what you're trying to do. It's completely relevant to the conversation. It's like, hey, I just so happen to have done this here, that kind of thing. I avoid doing that. I honestly do because it still feels wrong to me. Even though it's completely rele relevant to the conversation, it still feels wrong. And I will never, unless specifically requested, I will never post a video response to a video unless, well, unless it was requested. That's the only way I would do it. Because it's unsolicited crap. And it's annoying as hell. Um... But it works, and that's what depresses me. All of these tricks work. I can watch these videos from people who have thousands upon thousands of subscribers, and they're shit. They're absolutely garbage. They're boring. The audio's terrible. The video's terrible. They don't do anything interesting. They're, they're, they're not enthusiastic. They're not putting effort into their videos or anything like that. The editing sucks. There's long pauses of nothingness, and it's just terrible, terrible stuff. Yet these people have thousands of videos and thousands upon thousands of views. This shit works, but I still don't want to do it because it's spammy and scammy and disgusting. And then it just keeps going. There's actually worse than that. Um... I, every once in a great while, I will get a private message from a uh, a, a channel. Uh, what are they called? Um, oh, crap, like Machinima and Full Screen and those kind of things. Um, I forget. Managed channels. Uh, oh, god damn it. I'm going to remember the word halfway through the next part of my thing. But y'all know what I'm talking about. The Machinimas and the full screens and IGNs and that kind of thing. The people that gather up a whole bunch of YouTubers and make one big company out of selling advertisements and stuff like that. Um, every now and then I'll get private messages from them. Now, the first one I got was from full screen. That's why I remember their name. And their uh, little spiel to me actually kind of made sense. They actually seemed relatively interested in my content. They actually said, hey, we would like to offer you a partnership with our company and you know, we can give you all of these things. And they gave me a list of stuff that they can give me. But they didn't give me what I actually needed, and that's a little bit of protection for gaming. Uh, there's protections for music, 
Like if I signed up with full screen, I, uh, there was a list of like a hundred thousand songs that I could do covers for because apparently full screen was a music thing. I don't know. Um, so I could do covers of songs and I'd have protection for it, but there are no protections for gamers. Uh, and the reason for that is, and this was described, explained to me, is that most game companies don't give a crap if you do let's plays of it. In fact, quite a few encourage it. Um, I have a list on on my Firefox bookmarks, just a, an entire folder dedicated to the license agreement stating that I'm allowed to monetize Let's Plays of their videos. Um, which begs the question, why does anybody play Nintendo on YouTube? Seriously, I have a list of people that specifically state that they want you to do this. Why do you bother playing Nintendo games when Nintendo's actually trying to undermine everything about that all of the coolness about the let's plays nintendo's trying to get rid of and it's really fucking annoying and really fucking stupid it's annoying from my point of view and it's actually stupid from theirs uh, it's actually a bad business decision to be doing this stuff but they're big enough they think they can take the hit um and they might be right i don't know i'm not nintendo but i still think it's a stupid business decision um but, uh, okay, so full screen actually offered me, me this, and they actually seemed to give a shit. I actually had a conversation with this guy, and I politely turned him down because he didn't offer me what I wanted uh, because I actually had a funny feeling that this kind of shit, that this shit that's happening with Nintendo was going to happen. Uh, and I expect that if Nintendo succeeds at what they're doing and if we don't fight it, um, it's just going to get worse. More companies are going to do it. Like, I would lay odds that the next company on the list, EA, the co people at EA are probably sitting there, will Nintendo succeed? Will Nintendo succeed? They're getting a lot of backslash, but will they succeed? If they succeed, we're next. And companies do this. They go nuts with this shit. Um, just a couple of days ago, the Supreme Court told Arrow that if it looks like a duck and smells like a duck, it's a duck um, when it comes to their service. Basically, it looks like cable to the end user, so we regulate it like cable. That was that was the ruling. It wasn't, okay, it's, it's against this law or this law. No, 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 no. It looks like cable, thus we treat it like cable, even though Arrow is completely different from cable. It doesn't look different from cable from the end user, from your perspective and my perspective, but technology-wise and how they actually deal with the laws and how they actually stayed within the laws, as many courts beforehand determined, that's different. Uh, today, like two days later, apparently like nine hours later this was filed, Fox is filing appeal against Dish Network over the Hopper thing saying that it looks like this, thus, according to the Supreme Court, it must be treated like this, even though previous court cases, all court cases uh, uh, between Fox and Dish, came out on Dish's side. And that's this is how big companies work. Basically, if they see any slight advantage and they're ever so slightly evil, like EA and Fox, they will take that advantage. So EA is probably sitting there watching Nintendo very, very closely going, if they succeed, we're next. So we need to fight this. As a collective, we need to stop playing Nintendo games on YouTube. Just straight up. Just, we need to stop playing them. We need to stop watching them. All that. And yes, I'm going to hold myself to this. And I loved watching the Minecrackers play Mario Kart. And I really do like Mario Kart. But I am going to hold myself to that. I'm not going to watch that ever again. Um, and hopefully the 10 people that are going to watch this video will join me. Yeah, that's going to really help. But pff, whatever. Um, so I knew this kind of thing was coming. I saw it coming a mile away. It's obvious. Like I said, any company that's even so slightly bit evil will see any advantage and take it. And the MPAA and RIAA have been doing this kind of thing to... Google for a while now. Um, so Nintendo went, we could do that too. So they did. Um, so uh, full screen can't offer that kind of thing 
So I said no. Now, the next two that came up, they basically said, we would like, you offer, we would like to offer you an opportunity to ask us if you can join us. I'm not kidding when I say that. I didn't even respond to them. I just deleted them because they're spam. They're garbage. They're just a little bit better than the Prince of Nigeria scam because that's exactly what it is. It's like it's, it's, it's the credit card offers. You have been pre-approved. No, you haven't. I've been denied by people that have been pre-approved, that have pre-approved me. Um, so it's all bullshit. It's all an advertisement. That's all it is. These people come on, they say, hey, you know, we've seen your stuff and we would like to offer you the opportunity to fill out an application to join us. Like, Wait, what? Why would I apply to you if you asked me? You came to me. Why am I asking you shit? No, 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 no. You need to make it sound interesting to me. You came to me, damn it. I'm sorry, that's, that's advertising. It's bullshit. It's like, it's, it's like doing a, a commercial for soap and saying, see if, you, you know, come and ask us if you're good enough to use our soap. So the thing is, that advertisement would probably work. But yeah, I mean, it's, all of these things that happen just disgusting disgust me and this is something i hadn't seen before when just watching youtube um you know i i I just watched youtube i didn't really get into youtube until i started doing youtube videos and then once i started getting you know doing youtube videos and started actually you know gaining subscribers then i started getting these contact notifications i'm like oh i'm getting it i'm getting notice i'm getting it I'm, I, people are actually getting interested that's awesome sweet yes and then i did some research and looked up how to get more views on youtube and most of the suggestions were bullshit they were spam they were just disgusting they make me sick but they work, and it's kind of disgusting at that. Um, so I throw this out to you guys, man. Just keep an eye out for the stuff. Only subscribe to people that you're actually interested in, okay? If somebody sends you a message, a private message saying, hey, check out this video, it's spam, okay? That's exactly what it is. It's spam, okay? Even if it's from your grandmother saying, hey, look at these cute cats, it's spam. That's the same exact kind of spam you get from the grandma emails. Okay, I don't get that, but I have a different type of grandma. I'm just using that as an example. I know I know, people are different no matter what, but uh, that's the stereotypical thing. The stereotypical grandma emails are just basically forwarded, forward chains of crap, you know, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so just... Watch out, watch for those scams, do your research, learn about this stuff, because I, I, I think I've mentioned this before, but this right here, my phone, this thing, is the, gives me more power than has ever been seen in the history of mankind, because knowledge is power. No matter what you think, knowledge is power. Okay, the more you know, the better off you will be. And you have infinite knowledge sitting directly in front of you right now. Do your research, look into this stuff, don't be scammed. And I will say to you guys as always, keep playing the game and have fun.